So, you're looking into destiny. Maybe your friend's looking into it. Maybe your dog wants to check out destiny too. Who knows what the reason is. Either way, if you clicked on this video, you want to know which DLC should I buy or which one's worth the money. That's what I'm here to tell you and I'll explain which one is best for you. So I should probably explain the different expansions that are actually in the game before going over which one you should buy because it's very hard to decide when you don't know what's in them. So looking at Steam, there are a lot of DLCs. There's a lot of them. And that's because Destiny 2 has been around for many years. So we have the likes of Forsaken, we have Shadowkeep, Beyond Light, The Witch Queen, and the newest one, Lightfall. One thing to note is seasonal content that was, you know, active during those expansion years. Prior to Lightfall, you can't actually play those seasons. So if that's something that you wanted to check out like the seasonal content then you won't find that in any expansion other than the newest one so with that being said let's look into the actual expansions themselves when they see this glorious end. the newest expansion lightfall which i already made a video review on it has two different editions you can buy. It has the standard edition and the deluxe edition. The standard edition is £40 and has its own campaign with normal and legend difficulty to help you level up your characters. It has the Neo Muna destination. It has the Root of Nightmares raid and a new strand subclass with many aspects and fragments you can earn during your playtime. The Deluxe Edition has everything we just mentioned, but also has two dungeon keys that will be released this season and in Season 23. It'll also have the Quicksilver Storm Exotic and a Catalyst that you can earn to make the gun better. And also has the Season Passes for Season 20 all the way through to Season 23 at the end of the year. Every season you'll also get the Rahul Secret Stash that's in the tar, which has cosmetics, ascendant alloys, ascendant shards, exotic ciphers and some upgrade modules just to boost up your leveling. And the deluxe edition is about double the price of the standard edition at £80. So keeping that in mind, the next expansion is the Witch Queen, which just came a year before Lightfall's release, which also has its legendary and normal campaign to help boost your leveling. It has the Savathun's Throne World destination, the Vive Disciple raid, and gives you access to weapon crafting, which is a new key component to upgrade your weaponry, with enhanced perks that you can create and choose to your liking once you use the gun. This expansion is cheaper at about £25, but it does not include the four seasons that were released during that year. Exotics that released during Witch Queen can also be purchased from the Monument of Lost Light, which were released during those seasons that I mentioned that aren't available anymore. But you'll also have other exotics that were released during the expansions year, which you can now earn if you own Witch Queen. Now before a Witch Queen, we had Beyond Light, which similar to the Witch Queen, it has its own campaign, but it doesn't have a legendary difficulty. It has some activities you can do in Europa, the Stasis subclass, which you can earn aspects and fragments for during the quest and playtime, and has the Deepstone Crypt Raid and some new exotics that you can earn during your time playing. The Beyond Light campaign costs around £25, which is the same price as getting the Witch Queen. Looking to the future always brings us back to the past. The next 
expansion is Shadowkeep, which released prior to Beyond Light. Came with its own campaign and has a dungeon called the Pit of Heresy. As well as this, it also has the Garden of Salvation raid and some other exotics and weapons you can earn. And this expansion is a little cheaper, about £20. Before Shadowkeep, there used to be an expansion called Forsaken, but this campaign kind of got sunset, which just means that it's in the content vault and you can't play it anymore. But you can still get the Forsaken pack, which will give you access to the Last Wish Raid, the Shadowthrone Dungeon, Forsaken Ciphers so that you can claim some exotics from the Monument of Lost Light for completely free, and unfortunately there is no campaign. However, this DLC is around £17, just a little cheaper. And the final expansion, which came around during the year of Beyond Light, is actually the 30th Anniversary Pack. This gives you the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon, as well as some treasure from Xur's Treasure Hoard. And this expansion is quite expensive, around £22, which is about the same price as a full DLC. Quite expensive for what it offers, but with that being said, which expansion do you want to buy? Well, it kind of depends. Do you want to play the game very actively? Or do you want to play the previous content so that you can work up to the recent one? Do you want to watch the story unfold in chronological order? Well, let's say you want to get the most out of the game at this current moment in time. You just want to get in, grind out the weapons immediately, right? I would recommend you get the newest expansion because you have access to seasonal content. You have access to the newest expansion, the newest raid. You'll get a feel for how the game is. You're not missing too much. It's very active on a weekly basis with the seasonal story and the season pass. So... Depending on if you want to spend all the money on the deluxe or the normal is up to you. If you think you'll play the game for a long time, then get the seasonal bonus with the deluxe edition. If you don't think you'll play too much, you just want to get a feel for it, then just get the normal edition and then you can upgrade if you want to. If you want to go along with the story, then I would purchase the oldest content first and then work your way up to the newest one so the story makes a little more sense. But you can also watch YouTube content from other YouTubers on the lore of the game because you will miss stuff anyways. And you might learn something you didn't know before if you even played this story anyways. That's up to you. Now, if you have the budget, there is a bundle that puts kind of everything together from the past content for about £50. And then you can purchase the annual pass for about £80, which adds up to £130. However, you also have the 30th anniversary pack, which adds on. It's personal preference at that point. You can add on to it to make your total £155. It is expensive to get everything, but you have to understand as well, this game is a franchise which has been going for years. So, trying to catch up on everything will take you some time. So, depends on your budget. If you want to buy everything now, you can. But I would recommend, if you just want to get into the game, get the newest expansion. You can choose Standard or Deluxe. Doesn't matter too much, because you can upgrade if you really want to play the other content you missed last season, maybe. And then, if you want, you can catch up on the older expansions as you're playing, so that you can catch up on exotics that you didn't get from the last year expansion for example you can do that later with that being said if you have any other questions about expansions or which one you should buy then leave a comment down below i'll try to answer some questions and if you want to get your friend into the game maybe maybe that's what you're trying to do then just send the video to them 
and that way there's more transparency with what you're buying, what you're getting into. Because Destiny is a brilliant game, has amazing gameplay, has some pretty good content. There's a lot of stuff for you to do. With that being said, thank you for watching. You can leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see other videos that are coming out. And if you want to talk with me more often, I have a Discord server you can join. And I might start streaming on Twitch soon, so if you want to check that out, it's in the description. With that being said, peace.